A mother and daughter stand accused of strangling a newborn baby and disposing of the body in a bucket. The mother, Basma Abdul al Khalesli, 36, is accused of committing the heinous act moments after giving birth at their family home in Hilliard, U.S. Al Khalesli allegedly strangled her newborn baby in a sadistic bid to conceal its existence from her husband. She then instructed her daughter, Hanan Ahmad al Jabuli, 19, to get rid of the body by dumping it in a bucket in the boot of a car in the backyard of their home, police say. It is yet to be determined through an autopsy whether the baby was still alive when its body was dumped. Police believe the mom wrapped the body in a bin liner shortly after the slaying. Paramedics discovered the horror scene after Jabuli called them on September 20 to express concern that her mother was not waking up following the killing. She told the operators, My mom is not waking up. I don't know what's going on with her. Upon arrival, paramedics noticed that Alka Leslie had recently given birth but there was no sign of a baby. The police subsequently discovered the lifeless body of the newborn in an orange bucket inside a parked SUV in the backyard. The Hilliard Police Division released a statement confirming the incident and stating that officers were initially called to the residence on Paxton Drive South following a medical emergency. Hilliard Police Division said in a statement obtained by Newsflash, officers were called to a residence at 4435, Paxton Drive South at 8.51 a.m. Wednesday, September 20. Shortly before, Norwich Township Fire Department medics had responded to a medical emergency at the home and discovered evidence that a child was recently born. Upon arrival, officers searched the area and found the baby in a vehicle parked in the backyard. Officers immediately administered CPR. The child was transported to Nationwide Children's Hospital, where it was pronounced dead. An autopsy will be conducted to determine the exact cause of the infant's death. A woman believed to be the child's mother was transported to an area hospital. Chief of Police Michael Woods expressed his sorrow over the tragic situation and emphasized the importance of determining what happened to the child. The investigation will continue, and an autopsy will be conducted to determine the exact cause of death. Both women are facing multiple charges, including murder, endangering children, tampering with evidence, abuse of a corpse, and obstructing justice.